Yeah, I think chapter one in my story has to begin uh, where where I'm where I'm from, which is the South. I'm the youngest of six, um, a big family, a close family. Um, you know, I believe that all is part of who I am today for sure. Um, family is first for me. If I had to pick a chapter one B, it would be uh, you know marrying Jim. Um, being introduced to Syracuse and all the changes there, but um, my life really begins with my family and um, where I'm from. Well, you know, my, my path is a little interesting being born in Miami, Florida. Um, uh, we, I had a younger brother who actually drowned in our backyard, so that really um, was a big um, uh, change in our family. Um, when that happened, we packed up and we moved to Eastern Kentucky, a town of 3,300 people, which was a culture shock. Um, but one of the best things that really ever happened for us was that move from Miami, Florida to a small town like Harlan, Kentucky, where my dad actually was born and raised. Um, a lot of great things came from that. Um, it's a faith-based town. It's a coal mining town. Um, uh, it's also a very musical, musically based town. There's the Harlem Boys Choir and the Musettes, and the Harlem Boys Choir actually sang at uh, George Bush's inauguration. Um, you know, so it, it's really indescribable that town, but also indescribable, indescribable about everything it did for us as our family, for our family. Um, and then we moved to Alabama in ninth, when I was in ninth grade. So it's, I'm kind of like a mixed bag. Um, but all of those experiences prepared me, I think, for my life today, um, even when I didn't realize it. And uh, the good and the bad, um, uh, but a lot of good growing up, you know, again, in a big family. And uh, my mom was just amazing. She and my dad divorced when I was in ninth grade. And uh, she was a single parent for a lot of the time. Um, uh, I love my dad. There's nothing bad there to say. But, um, you know, my mom really uh, was everything, you know. And so, yeah, she was, she's, she's not with us anymore um, here on this earth, but she's with me every day and a big role model and a big source of strength for me in my daily life. This is Jim's baby picture and I love it. So you can put a little lipstick on him <laughs> in the picture. Um, and my dad, who was a musician, and my mom, and my all of us, I'm the youngest of six, um, and me there. <laughs> Lots of great old family photos. So was it your dad then that got you into the piano because he was a musician? Yeah, he he played the piano, the trumpet, my brother, my siblings are all musical. Yeah. I like to think I am, but not not so much, I'm sure <laughs> in reality, but I'm right. I'll stick with that dream anyway. Well, you know, adversity is just part of life, and I don't care who you are, what you have, or what you don't have, we are all going to experience it. It is a fact. And, you know, for me, without my faith in God, I could not go through some of the things or make sense of, of the purpose of life. You know, we just went through a pandemic. What in the world is going on? And, you know, the one thing that remains day in and day out for me is my faith in God. And, um, you know, I just don't know how you make it otherwise. I know I could not. Well, I, I love being a mom. I take a lot of pride in being a mom. Um, being a wife and a mother are my two top priorities. Um, and I'm just so grateful to be in the role and, and able to do both. Um, to, um, it, it is the greatest blessing for me in my life um, are those two roles. Syracuse is an incredible community. Um, I think sometimes when you aren't from a place, you see it differently and you don't take it for granted. I think a lot of people who are born and raised here overlook, you know, the, the, the specialness of Syracuse and the richness of it. And wow, it is just unique and it is everything to us. Um, you know, without this community, there wouldn't be a, a foundation. Um, there wouldn't be the dome and the fan base that we have and the support 
Um, it, we do not take an ounce of it for granted. So the foundation is such a big part of our life. Um, it was Jim's idea and uh, he didn't let up until we were established and uh, up and running. Um, we transitioned from Coaches vs. Cancer uh, to our foundation, which, um, you know, the one thing that we felt was so important is that all the dollars raised stay here in Syracuse uh, to help uh, the fight against cancer and kids in need. So it's twofold, kids and cancer. Um, We've given out over six million dollars uh, since it was established in 2010 and uh, to over close to 300 different organizations. And we try to broaden our reach. We say Central New York, but we try to really make that a broad area, as broad as we can, extend our reach as far as we can within reason. Um, and you know, I think, I, I mean, again, we, we never dreamed the success of this. Uh, it, it is just another great blessing in our life. Um, Jim, we're, we're like kids, we, we, we grant dollars twice a year, and when we go over those grants and we give out those checks, I mean, it's Christmas Day, you know, and Jim is just so excited, and to see him um, in that position, I mean, I am, and I think people would expect me to be that way. Maybe not him so much, but he is. He is just giddy over over it, and um, to help the kids in our community and and any assistance in the fight against cancer, um, you know, that's hugely important to us and to this community. I think uh, supporting the kids within it. We know we have shortcomings here in our community: poverty, food. I mean, so many things that we've already had, and COVID has just magnified and mold. You know complicated it, you know, um, beyond reason. So we need help, you know, we need to help our community and we're all in it together. We're just one part of it. Uh, but without the support of this community, we would again be nothing. This foundation would not be in existence, but um, you know, we all want to do our part and we should do our part and we all have a capability of doing something to make a difference. It doesn't have to be about dollar, dollars. Thank you.